Hello everybody, I am back once again for some more A Link to the Past. Um, we started Turtle Rock last time and we got to this room. Now we're gonna go explore some more. And I need to get my bearings for a minute, or gather my bearings for a minute. Let's just collect all this. Because it's never, it never hurts anybody to have uh, more preparation be done. Let's not screw around too much here. We got pipes that we can go through. I want to see if there's anything else we can do before then. It does not look like it. These anti-fairies are really annoying. So that leads us back upstairs. Where have we been so far? So we came from up here. We visited everything up there, got everything up there. Let's... Okay, so there's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I did a little more research and uh, I figured out that there's something on the west side of the Dark Death Mountain that we need to go get before we do the final dungeon. I'm not going to leave Turtle Rock to do it here. <laughs> These pipes are very long. Let's see. Again, don't forget to check under the skulls for potential keys let's see where this leads because we got a choice of two we need to make it to that middle area there oh this let's see about getting rid of all these things wow okay these things do a lot of damage Or I'm just not paying attention. And my dog is having an issue with her ear right now. So if I seem more distracted than usual, that's why. I wish this thing would stop chasing. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go this way. That's a big key. Can't really do anything here. Hmm. What about over here? Oh. Okay. You know, we are pretty close to the last heart piece, so oh. Yeah, uh, that's a thing. So, on the right-hand side of this cliff, if we do this, and go back into the light world, we can come into this cave. And this is where the last heart piece is. And we need the hammer. We need to get rid of these. And it looks like okay, that's good. Let's see what's in. Oh, there we go. That's the last heart piece. Hmm. So I do want to check. Because we can't go into here right now, because this is just right where we saw that big chest. We can't get this yet, because we don't have the big key. What we need to do is we need to go back into the other side. I will check real quick to see if this is anything that we can like make use of right here, or if we've already been down. Um, Yeah, we've already been down here. For some reason, that one extends a bit further. Let's go back in here. Hug that side of the wall. So this is related to the pipes here. We have to go into the other one to see where um, everything is. 
Okay, it just leads us here. Very nice. Bunch of anti-fairies. We really don't need to deal with these. That's a locked door. Oh, you know what? This takes us around in a loop. Fairy. Because we already freaking used one. Why does that thing move so fast? There's the key. All right, now that we have that. <laughs> Up and hey, there's the boss key. I know I said that kind of preemptively, but like there's no other like chests like that so the fact that we have that now we can get over to where the I'm guessing the next thing is um yeah we can just go around since we left the dungeon actually we can get all this again we really don't have much else to do and I in addition to that I believe that we're going to be able to get through uh level 8 as well that is completely based on how we get done, or how quickly or how slowly we get done with this dungeon. So, yeah. So, I believe it was this pipe? No. This one. Uh, yeah. We gotta get rid of these things again. That's always nice. I might be just forgetting that everything does at least a harder damage in here. And I really hate... Come on. Thank you. Alright. Um, let's see. Yeah, we, we basically have to go this way. Then again. Why do they infinitely respawn? That is... I want to check, see if there's anything of relevance in that uh, boss room. Okay, I'm about to use another fairy already. Wow. Maybe it would be better to do a, a ranged... Wow. It would be probably better to use ranged weapons on those things if I can. <laughs> I'm not having a good time, if you haven't realized. Or noticed, I should say. Ah, I wanted to catch that fairy. This leads to the pipe room. Oh, that is so stupid. Laugh at me for my directions. <laughs> Because we have to get that, and then we have to go right through that room. That just basically closes us off from getting the... That is a dumb check, now that I think about it. Like, that's a one-way shutter at the bottom of that room. And that just... That is checking to make sure that you have the cane, but... You, so if you're already here, you're gonna already have this cane. Yeah. Now that we have this. Yeah, see, we're right in this room. We just go up here. And through this pipe. And I assume we go up here. For more of this stupidity. I don't know what this thing is, but I really don't like it. Let's blow up these walls. There are very few doors that actually do that, but some doors have a chance to spawn enemies. Yeah. They don't drop anything, but they're there. Don't forget. Uh, I 
don't really know what to expect here. I imagine... Oh boy. Yeah, it's another one of the tongue pulling things. And a ruby room. Do we really want to bother with this? Because, like, we're going to be maxed on money after this. Blech. Yeah, I literally can't hold all of these. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's leave that. <laughs> like I said, the game really wants to let you have max money. And we need a key. I forgot where my boomerang was for a minute. Um, where else? Well, we visited everywhere there. So I guess we go down here then. Oh, oh great. I'm just... I'm pretty sure this is just a maze. And I don't remember how exactly... that we get to where we're going, or where we need to go. <clears throat> Recovery, thank you. Oh, I, I pressed down at that intersection, by the way. Again, I'm trying to figure out where to go, and I should probably be using... Oh, we need to go there, I guarantee it. Yeah. And we go all the way back. Um... I hate the Helmosaur. That's such an annoying enemy. Where could this possibly lead? I have half a heart left, I just realized. Actually, is there a fairy fountain down there that I forgot about? Because I need to know. Thankfully, there is. Um, yeah, let's catch one. And yeah, I'll just grab the other. Can I infinitely respawn these things, though? Hey! Nice. Now we're good to go. Good news about level 8, by the way, is that it's on the same area as Turtle Rock is, being this mountain. So I do believe How could I possibly forget that kind of crap? <laughs> so yeah, if you hold your spin attack, ah! 
If you hold your spin attack, you can actually just walk right by these things with this mirror shield. And that was useless. Okay. Now we can go over here. Knock that thing off. Um, da -da 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 -da. So it looks like there's only three, two more rooms to go through and then, oh. oh it's gonna be one of these, isn't it? Well, might as well have the boomerang out then. It's worse because the anti-fairies take a lot of your magic away. Stop it. And you... You are required to have magic to deal with the boss of this dungeon, by the way. If I, I probably mentioned it before. Come on. There we go. But, uh, yeah... Let's see if we can... There we go. I mean, it kind of wasn't worth it. Down we go. Now, I should have enough magic. If, yeah. I probably should have, like, spawned this beforehand, but... Here's the boss. Oh, that is a that is a cool floor tile. Like three heads. So what do we want to do? F what do we have to do first? Oh my god. Sweet. That's one part done. Mm -hmm. Why? That is really not fair. And he can get back there, too? Of all the things I've never seen, that's one of them. Like, holy crap, that is not cool. Oh, man. This room is so slow. Did... Did I literally spin attack him twice and that's just it? Thankfully, the Harkonnen drops over here. Wow. Well, that was Turtle Rock, and that was some other doozy of a stupid boss battle. I don't know if I hit him multiple times there or what, but wow. It went a bit more quick than I expected. Yeah. It is unlikely that anyone can stop him after he enters the light world. Go to the Tower of Ganon. Okay. So now that that's done... I do believe... Well, I need to see something first, but... Um, oh, wow, a new enemy! And we've never seen these before. 
this is a lino, as far as this game's concerned. They just shoot fireballs and do nothing else of relevancy. I like how I'm not facing it, but yeah, here. And we now have access to Ganon's Tower. That's what this is. Now, I need to see and make sure that we don't have access to anything up here before I go. Because it looks like we have to make our way all the way over to Turtle Rock again to turn back into this area. But what, we, what I mentioned before is the last thing that we have to collect is down here. Yeah. I think we may have gone into this cave once, but I'm unsure. So what we're going to do is try to hug the wall as much as we can. And come up here and get the Cane of Burna. So that gives us a uh, defensive circle of magic around us and it's basically an upgrade of the cape so i should be able to get out of here with minor damage that room's like walking on nails and that was the analogy that i found There's a B. Uh, you know what? There's actually one more, like, novelty thing that I forgot to mention. In the fairy fountain that has the blue fairy statue, I'm not sure what relevancy it is to me, but that statue has a, uh, it spawns a golden bee. And I don't really have time in this playthrough to, like, show that off. But, yeah. You have to show that golden bee to somebody, and they basically... I don't remember what exactly it is, but it's really rare to have one. So, yeah. I'll probably look look up what exactly that entails in bef between this episode and the next one because I'm pretty sure like if we don't get through Ganon's tower in this episode then we're gonna probably have the finale of uh, this game be in the next episode or n maybe not I have to go find another portal so we have to go all the way to Turtle Rock again And go back to the dark world. Let's uh, grab this fairy if we can. If we can, there we go. And then we're going to start Ganon's Castle. Ganon's Castle. This is not <laughs> a castle game. This is a tower game. So... With that said, let's head over that direction. And I would hope there would be some magic refills part way up the tower. I hate the Lionels in this game. They're not as bad as uh, Breath of the Wild's Lionels, but they're still bad. Because they do a lot of damage without needing to do so. <laughs> All right. 24 minutes in, and let's begin Ganon's Tower. So, since this is a, a mock-up of the Tower of Hera, we have to go downstairs to get anything done out of the gate. Now, the number one thing I'm going to be looking for is definitely going to be the map and the compass, because I don't remember entirely where everything is but that being said it couldn't be too difficult 
Let's do that. Okay, so there's a little magic here. Bit of a rupee room. Arrows. You know, this honestly is... Yeah, it's a recovery room. But I didn't remember that, and now we have to get rid of all these guys. Oh, you know what? I haven't gotten everything possible. So I'm doing this with a weaker sword than I could have. Also, no silver arrows either. Nice little hookshot puzzle. Uh, yeah, let's see what's down here. Another locked door. Well, since we have two keys, I guess we could go over here see what's going on. This looks like a Mario room, honestly. Well, there's the map. Good. I have no idea what that does. Um, da -da -da -da. I guess we'll do that. I'd imagine the compass would be down here too. Well, they gave us a spare key. That's nice. I said I would imagine the compass would be down here, but... Okay. I'm not sure if I want to be here yet, but... Uh... Works for me. Yet another key. Um, too many times I miss this part of the wall, and it's just, yeah. Yeah, you find one of those stepping switches, and, like, you come up here, and it's just a bunch more recovery stuff. You need arrows, man, and bombs? We got you. We got you covered. But yeah, all you're going to find in here is that jellyfish and the mold worm. So, unless if you need anything out of there, you really don't need to go looking. Where else do we need to go? Let's check this out here. Well, at least you can avoid that. Um, I guess down here? Ah, there we go. Okay, let's go this way. Then we want to go to the east end of this room. Ah, uh, never mind. Ah! And we respawn all the way over here. It's always nice. <laughs> oh boy. I don't think I want to go up, but then again, as far as exploration is concerned. Let's 
Was it this one? Ugh. That was really hard to see. Okay. Please let there be magic in here. Of course not. And it's just freaking arrows. Did I really need to come all this way? That's strange. I'm skeptical now. I guess not. Well, we've never been down here before, so might as well. Oh. Okay, we got a refight then. Level one boss, anybody? Uh, since they're giving us so many arrows, I mean. on an ice floor. You literally cannot move in here. This is bad. Okay. Well, I guess we could check up here first. Come on. Oh. Okay. And recovery arrows. Always nice. Still find you. It feels like we're getting the boss key a little too soon in a lot of these areas. Oh. I mean, thanks. Okay, I guess. Where does this bring us up to, though? Oh. Would you look at that? Right up to the... Hey, you found the red mail. This provides even better protection than the blue mail. Uh, yeah, dungeon item already. So... I guess we can go up now, but we have a bunch of stuff yet to explore. So I suppose we could probably... Do that exploration. I mean, we do have a key as well. The game's practically asking for us to uh, do so. So why not? Let's do it. Then again, we could have saved a key if we went... Okay, it's a way down switch. Is this a tile room? Yeah. 
It's also a wall master room. That's nice. That those tiles still do a harder damage to me. Even though I have the red mail, I'm not sure how that's calculated, but like, the, oh, the anti very does. No, no, the tiles do. That is so dumb. My shield doesn't block them either. Does it? No. Okay. Well, that was a annoying room. Oh, great, more of this. Ugh. No, thank you. Thank you. Stop it. The fact that there's also a wall master in here is really annoying. I guess we can see what's down here first. Um, I mean, I guess. And the wall master follows me in here. Why game? What are we supposed to find in here? I almost got yoinked by that wall master once again. Come on, which one is it? It's worse that these things are infinitely respawning. Oh. Wall masters should never be on an infinite respawn. That's just. Ugh. This room is absolutely useless. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go up first because... No, we already went up. What am I talking about? Let's go with the damage. Go, 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 go. All right. That's dumb. And if I get yoinked by a freaking wall master, I'm going to riot. Did we even need to do this? Looks like there's one room we haven't explored, so. Let's see. Another one of these. I'm gonna have to make this into a next part video soon. There. <laughs> okay. Compass. Yeah, let's go over here. Let's see where we're at. Oh. Oh, it leads us over here? I mean... Oh, okay. Well, we kind of needed to get that anyway, because we don't have any keys. <laughs> um, oh, jeez. Come on. So, apparently as soon as you load in that part, that's when that uh, floor starts to fall, I guess. Ah. Hmm. 
So I think I get what we need to do here. Push that off to the side. Yeah, there we go. And then where is this? Ah, this is that one room we couldn't get to. So, in the idea of not wanting to waste magic, let's go. Okay. So, I do believe that's everything explored down here. Check this real quick. Yeah, we just have to go up now. You know what? I think next episode we're going to get the rest of the things we need to. And I'm going to... Yeah. Let's actually... I keep opening the map. Okay, so... How many? 41 minutes. Yeah, we're going to explore something. I need to go... You remember that thing I told you we could do after we clear Misery Mire in every uh, beforehand dungeon? Well, we're going to do that, and then we're going to go up the rest of this tower. So I'm going to actually... I guess it really doesn't matter if I go away, but we have to... We're going to fly over to Link's place, and then we're going to go into the Dark World. I'm, I'm 42 minutes in. I need to recover. I'll explain more in the next episode, but please do consider leaving a like and a comment if you have something to say or you want to inform me of something. Um, I'm thinking there after this, we're going to have the next episode, and then it's going to be the final episode because we're going to do the rest of the collection that we have to do in the next episode. Then the one after that is going to be the probably the finale so I do hope you'll stay tuned for that and to make it easier upon yourself, do consider subscribing because I would appreciate it so much. Helps me out more than you know. And uh, just generally, I will appreciate it and it will help you stay up to date with what I'm doing next. And with that said, I'll go ahead and end off the video when we get into the bomb shop because that is where we're going to start off the next video. Look at that. With that said, bye-bye.